they were described as brilliantly illustrated and beautifully evocative writings. Yes. For its extraordinary vision, crossing boundaries between art, poetry, and theatre. Innovation! Each poem, both excellent in their own right, also a strong link between them, breaking boundaries both a graphic novel and an anthology. Viscerally beautiful and disturbing. It was, of course, drumroll. Build the anticipation, guys! Firstly, I approached Tom Corbett, the publisher of Bridgeport Press, with the idea that, um, that poetry might be quite niche, graphic novels might be quite niche, and painting might be quite niche, so why don't we combine all three of them <laughs> and have an audience that might be just my mum. <laughs> and she obviously voted quite a few times. <laughs> Um, so it was incredible that Tom was prepared to kind of take on a pretty speculative idea. And if any of you have huge, slightly speculative crossover ideas, do pitch them to Tom. Um, he's willing to listen. Um, secondly, to Saboteur and Sabotage and Claire. And it's, it's just kind of amazing to be in the room with all kinds of really exciting things that are happening. Um, it's a pretty tricky time for the arts um, and without going too political, I think things like this where people are doing things despite obstacles are pretty amazing. And really, I'm just collecting this on behalf of um, what basically happened was I made a series of paintings of strange horse-headed figures, approached <laughs> lots of poets who I admired and said, please write poems in response. Um, which they very kindly did. So really this award is for the 37 incredible poets who did amazing things. Um, and also to uh, my partner Kieran, who is the reason I've been dragged into the um, amazing world of poetry. So uh, thank you everyone. Thank you.